one thing coming to Rosebud did is I, I immediately felt like I was around people that understood who I was and they really nurtured it. All of a sudden I felt like I was not special necessarily, but important. People actually wanted to know what I was on about. They actually wanted to know what I was struggling with and that had never happened to me before. I came for a scout week to see how it went and loved it. Um, I pretty much decided I was coming here before I would care my scout week though, but <laughs> just to confirm. Yeah, just going into classes throughout the week and meeting people, I really enjoyed it and I got very excited about coming here. It just felt like a place that I could call home, that I could be at peace. But yeah, I came here and I didn't know what acting was. <laughs> I didn't take drama in high school, I did community theatre. Kalina was the girl who wouldn't talk to people didn't really put herself out there. And they put her in this dinner music group and she became the mouthpiece. She was the one introducing the songs and engaging with the guests. And the other two musicians were following in her wake. And we were like, who is this girl? Everything starts dropping in and you're having revelations about your craft, about yourself, about things that you are doing that you don't want to be doing. Because it's so much smaller, you get that more individual um, attention and that individual focus. And so you're not lost in the shuffle of there's all these students and we're just trying to get through all this stuff. And, you know, if you're struggling with this, then you kind of got to figure it out on your own because the instructor just doesn't have enough time. Um, whereas here, there is definitely that time for your instructor to work with you and to find what actually works for you. I was very lucky to, to perform a whole bunch with with Rosebud School of the Arts. Like I did, I did my two uh, mandatory shows in my second year, and then I did that class again in my third year. So I did four shows coming through, and then a main stage show in my in my final year. And in total, I think it was over a hundred performances or close to a hundred performances of of just practicing this craft with all these people who surrounded me with support and care and advice. After, after so many years, it's like, oh, year after year after year, what do we see? Well, we see that, that this faculty, this valley, infused with the, the work and the training, infused with the Holy Spirit, brings about transformation in young people that uh, is without question miraculous. Like the, the comments we get back from, from people about who our grads are and the kinds of storytellers they are, they're transparent, they're authentic, they're real individuals, right? They're not, you know, carbon copies, they're not cutouts, they're, they're just these unique, interesting voices that people want to work with. If you're looking for a theater school where people will actually look you in the eye and connect with you, if you're looking for a place where, where there's many professors who know their stuff about the industry, who know their stuff about acting, that's where you want to be. That's where you want to go. You want to go to Rosebud, you'll be surrounded by this beautiful lush valley and people who are with you in the same struggles or trying to figure out what acting's about, what life is about, because they're the same thing, really, if we look at them. And there's people there who care enough to actually tell you what you need to hear, even though it's hard. Our instructors are working professionals, and so I can trust their experience and I can trust their knowledge because this is something that is working for them on a regular basis. I just think whether you're gonna be an engineer or a teacher or a plumber, or a theater storyteller, or I think there's just real richness to be had there in the gentle pushing of discovering who you are in the world. You will discover how, how you fit in to that story, how your bit of storytelling fits into the bigger story. I get overwhelmed sometimes you know, with just all that I have to do, but then I ask myself, is there anywhere else I'd want to be? And the answer is always no. Hey you, if you've got it all figured out, don't come to Rosebud, because that won't help you. Don't come to Rosebud if you don't want to put the work in, because acting or whatever it is that you're doing requires discipline, requires a lot of work. And so if you're not willing to do that, this is not the place for you. Don't come to Rosebud if you don't like people. There's not a lot of people, but you're around them all the time. Theatre is cohesive and it requires that you work with others and that you enjoy it. Don't come to Rosebud if you feel like you 
can't be around people that see you for who you are. You shouldn't come to Rosebud if you need to have a 7-Eleven within six blocks of you. If you are addicted to your cell phone, because cell service is spotty. Don't come to Rosebud if, I don't know, I think we can work out anything. I don't know why you shouldn't come to Rosebud. Don't come to Rosebud if you're dead. Don't come to Rosebud if you're dead. Well, we have a good cemetery. <laughs> I think you should come to Rosebud. <laughs>